Hey guys, Demolisher134 here, and today we are taking a look at the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Deluxe Class Laserback. Now, I picked this guy up from Tesco here in the UK, so for those of you that are living in the UK and couldn't find any Beast Hunters toys, get hunting now because they are actually starting to show up in stores. Um, like I said, I got this one from Tesco. Now onto the toy itself, I've got to say, I really quite like this guy. I do think the colours are a little bit wacky, I mean he's got red, purple and yellow, they're the most uh, prominent colours here, but it looks cool, I really like the way he looks. Um, he's got, uh, in terms of his design in general, I think he is kind of a little bit abstract, I don't, know, I don't know exactly what this is supposed to be or what it's based from, all I know is that he looks, you know, like a beast, and uh, he's pretty damn cool. Now I have a few gripes about this beast mode. Uh, one is the head. It doesn't seem to lock into place on mine. Now, you can see that there are two little uh, tabs or peg holes there and some little tabs. And it looks as though they are supposed to actually peg together, but they really don't. And that kind of sucks. I mean, I don't know if it's supposed to, but um, it always seems to leave a little bit of a gap there and that kind of bugs me. Also I really don't like the fact that you can see the hands here that kind of sucks. I mean he's just got his hands on it on his uh, arms in his beast mode. I really don't like that. Also I really wish this tail could sit down a little bit further. It always just seems to be stuck up and it's kind of annoying at times but there we go. Aside from the gripes that I mentioned though I do think that this beast mode is fairly solid. I mean he looks he looks badass. Um, we haven't seen him in the show so far, hopefully we do, um, but I'm not betting on it, but um, yeah, I think this guy will be very cool in the show, and it'd be interesting to actually see him in the show, um, but as for the actual vehicle mode itself, or beast mode, sorry, he is pretty damn cool, I quite like this. For a quick size comparison for the beast mode, here he is next to uh, the deluxe dead end figure, which is a repaint of Wheeljack. Now you can see that Laserback is actually a fairly large deluxe, I mean, even lengthwise, um, he is fairly large. Um, but he's definitely much taller than um, obviously a car, which I think is really cool. I think he's in scale with a lot of the other toys uh, for the Beast Hunters line, and yeah, he scales fairly well. Now the Beast Mode does have some articulation, he has got a ball joint up here at the uh, paw here. Would you call it a paw or a claw? I don't know. Um, he's got a joint up here, he can also bend uh, left and right. It can go 360 degrees, but I really don't want to uh, stress that because it looks like he's got a little bit of a white stress mark there already, uh, so I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, the head can't move, I mean you can sort of move it like that, but that's kind of dumb, just, yeah, we'll just leave that. He has got a ball joint up here, can also rotate down here, bend in and out, and uh, bend at this uh, little, sort of, would you call that a knee? I don't know. He's also got another joint here, just above uh, the ankle, or just where the ankle is. And he's also got a ball joint uh, there as well. So, fairly decent articulation in the legs. The tail doesn't move, uh, that can't move at all. You can move it to, uh, in the transformation to robot mode, but in beast mode, uh, that can't move. He does sport some nice Predacon symbols on the shoulders here, which are fairly nice looking. Now, he does also have a little bit of a gimmick in the uh, beast mode. You can take this here, and you can just sort of pull it up, and he's got a cannon on his back. I guess that's why they, he's called Laserback. I don't know, but, I mean, he's got a cannon. That's kind of cool. Um, it does fire a missile. and It does actually fire it really well. Um, that can go flying if you want it to, uh, so be careful when you fire that. Um, also, you can open... Uh, these pieces out and it is just made of rubber plastic. You can open it up if you want. Um, in fact you can take the entire can off um, which is how it's packaged actually. Um, yeah you can open that up and you can have it like that. I don't know why you'd want to because I honestly think it looks cooler like that. But that is it for Laserback's beast mode so let's get him transformed into his robot mode. To transform Laserback what we're going to do is we're going to come around here just sort of fold the legs down back here just sort of fold them out like so, and there you have his legs, that's fairly simple. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come back here, we're actually going to take the, uh, this half of his tail and pull it off, we're just going to dismantle him. Take the cannon here, get this out of the way, like so, take that, lift it up, then we can take uh, his crotch here and we can peg it together, just like that. Then, come around here, I'm going to take the uh, two sides here, just going to pull it out like that. Take the beast head, and we're actually going to sort of fold it inside his chest like that. Then just get everything in line and then push these two halves back up until you can hear a click. They do actually peg in um, quite nicely. So that is the chest just there. Rotate 
the arms down how you want them. Come around here, flip out the hand, rotate it around, flip out the hand. This one's kind of stiff on mine. Flip out the hand, rotate the uh, wrist around. Then just flip these pieces back and get him how you want him. And there is Deluxe Class Laserback in his pretty cool looking robot mode. And I've got to say, I really do like the look of this guy's robot mode. I think it looks really cool. Um, kind of exotic, if you say. Um, it just looks very unique and quite different to uh, the regular Transformers that we get in the Prime line. And I think that's a good thing. I think he is really cool looking. Um, in terms of the accessories, he obviously does come with uh, these pieces. Now, the tail can actually form a whip in his robot mode. Or something along the lines of that. And yeah, I mean, I can see how that could work. But honestly, it really doesn't look that cool. So, what you can do if you want, is you can come back here, take that little piece there, in fact you can actually push the tail up a little bit further in, in uh, robot mode, um, yeah, that little piece there, you can just peg the tail into that section, and you can store it on his back and just get it out of the way, um, which I think is kind of cool, so we're going to keep that out of the way, and we'll just leave him with the uh, cannon that he's got, and you can just peg that into his hand, and uh, yeah, there we go, he is all armed up. Now the one thing that's really annoying about this cannon, uh, well not the cannon really, it's just the missile. This piece is too long, which means that you can't actually have it sitting, you know, at the right angle in his hand. It's always going to be sort of off to the side, which kind of sucks. I mean, you can, he doesn't hold it like that, because it's always just in the way. And that's really kind of a pain, you've got always got to have the cannon sort of off to the side, and that kind of bugs me. But, um, I mean, there's really nothing you can do without cutting uh, this piece off. In terms of articulation in the robot mode, the head is on a ball joint, so you can rotate that any which way you want. He's got ball jointed shoulders. He's got a joint up here at the elbow, you can also rotate left and right at the elbow. And the wrist is on a little bit of a joint, you can rotate that around. Uh, he's got no waist articulation, he's got a ball joint up here at the hip. You can bend at the knee and sort of bend at this secondary knee, would you call it. And obviously he's got a ball joint at the feet and he's also got this little hinge joint just there. Just for a quick size comparison, here is a Laserback next to Deluxe Class Dead End from the Prime line. Just so you can see that uh, Laserback is a fairly average size figure for a Deluxe Class. And he's, he's really cool. I mean, he scales well with all of the other uh, Deluxe figures, which is nice. Um, so here he is next to Dead End. Here's a quick side by side. So there is the side comparison. Also, before I end the review, I just want to get a really quick close-up of his head sculpt there, because he has actually got a fairly cool, uh, mean little head sculpt in there, uh, just so you can see it. Now, the light piping, I believe, is non-existent. Uh, he's just got painted eyes. Uh, they are green, though, which is kind of cool. Uh, but, yeah, overall, yeah, his head sculpt is just really mean-looking. I mean, he looks kind of pissed off, if you ask me. Um, but, yeah, very, very cool. But that is it for Deluxe Class Laserback. Overall, I think this is a pretty solid figure. I'd give him a good 7 out of 10. Um, I'd definitely recommend you pick this guy up. He is definitely a cool figure. Anyway, I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.